Fortnite squad. It is back with another Fortnite video, and today we will be looking at week 7 of season 8 challenges. But before we do that, you guys already know, I'd like to start off with a little uh, introduction, talk to you guys for a little bit. Um, well, first off, I want to say thank you so, so much from the bottom of my heart. I really mean it. I cannot believe the support that I've been getting lately. You know, before my last video, so week 6 video, I didn't even have a thousand subscribers and now we are at 1.2k. Very happy, very pleased, and I'm very happy that the club is growing guys. So let's keep on growing. You know, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you subscribe and make sure you hit that bell button so you don't miss out on any future posts of mine. So if you haven't done that already, make sure you do that. And in other news, I do want to say because I've reached a thousand subscribers, I do want to give you guys the opportunity to get shout outs for my next video for week 8. So there's going to be a few ways you guys can get a shout out. Number one, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell button and when you do, in the comment section, make sure you say you did it and I will be looking through the comment section and I will be giving you guys shout outs. Second. Make sure to follow me on either Twitter, Instagram, or both, and DM me when you have followed me, and I will make sure to give you a shout out. And then number three, when you go into the item shop, you see at the very bottom, support a creator. Yes, I have a support a creator code now, so make sure you enter that e -pack, man. You know, if you guys screenshot it, I screenshot that image right here screenshot uh, purchase that you do su with supporting me I will make sure to give you guys a shout out so please 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 those three ways again I'm gonna run through first way you do it subscribe to me hit that bell button and make sure you tell me in the comment section second way go ahead follow me on Instagram or Twitter and DM me when you have done so and I will give you a shout out and then three support a creator support me if if you guys want to, there is my code, epacman, so you guys already know. And then when you do, you know, screenshot it, um, screenshot this image, screenshot when you purchase an item, or just simply tell me that you're supporting me now, and I will give you a shout out. So thank you, thank you once again. This is for my thousand subscribers. And then in the future, after next week's video, I will be giving one person a shout out per video. It's at least one person it could be one to three people I want to say per video so that will be for the rest of season eight so thank you once again I really appreciate you guys and I just want to do something small for you guys for right now and the least I can do is give you guys shout outs so make sure you let me know and I will do so so actually before I get into the week seven I do want to remind everybody of these challenges right here Buccaneers bounce so these are easy challenges you know you guys get free rewards i recommend doing them i still haven't started to be honest but look at the first two visit a pirate camp different matches search buried treasure and i can only assume these two are going to be as easy as well so i would recommend definitely doing these just in case if you guys don't know already uh, make sure you check them out they're easy challenges they're like your daily challenges almost so make sure you do those but we're all here for week 7, so let's dive right into it. So for the first one, deal damage with the pickaxe to opponents, 100 damage. Um, that could be, that could go either way. That could be a little tougher, it could be a little easier, it just depends. I think I would recommend landing with somebody, um, whether it be like in your solos or whatever game mode, honestly. Maybe not, maybe Team Rumble won't be the best for this one, but we'll see how we'll get it done. Then we got the stage challenges, visit Junk Junction, and the block in a single match. Okay, we've done this before, we can do it again. Then visit Pirate Camps in a single match. So we have to do three Pirate Camps in a single match. This will help me do the other uh, Buccaneer, Buccaneer Bounty challenges that I just showed you guys. So I will definitely be looking at that. Then deal damage to players from above. So I'm thinking, you know, maybe uh, Team Rumble. I'll be up in a tree or something and then just uh, deal damage from up there and then search chests at Loot Lake or Snobby Shore so 7 chests that's not bad stage 1 of 2 deal damage to opposing players while riding a zipline okay that that could be tougher just because 
Uh, you have to be near someone while you're on a zip line, so yeah, that could be tougher. And then eliminate opponents in different name locations. That's super easy. We got this. Week seven, let's go. Okay, so here we are in Junk Junction. We're gonna go visit the block here very soon. Okay guys, we are approaching the block and it looks like we are not gonna be able to make it to the pirate camp as well. Uh, so there's that challenge, visit the block in Junk Junction in the single match. However, we are not gonna make the pirate camps this match, so we will work on different challenges. Okay, so now I wanna work on dealing damage to opponents, or maybe eliminating opponents in name locations. We can do both at the same time, let's see. There is some damage. Let's see if I could go to eliminate him, maybe get that credit. Oh, is he eliminated? No, he's around. There we go. That was bad. I accidentally, I guess I kind of lagged a little bit and then moved my screen. But we got the elimination regardless. So remember, so I just dealt damage from above when I was on that tree, and then I also eliminated an opponent in the named location, so like, just remember that, guys, that you can knock out two in one. So honestly, you just need to be above an opponent to deal damage to them for it to count. So I'm assuming I can just be up here, like up a structure or something, and then, you know, deal damage to the guys. That was an insane elimination, oh my gosh. Here's some damage from above. Wow, how did I not get that elimination? I thought I was shooting right at him. There's some damage from above, I hope. There was. There's some damage. So I'm at 266 out of 500. Some damage from above. No, dang, these guys know how to build. Does this come from above? Since I technically am above. That was a headshot too, so... Oh, it did count from above! So I'm at 418 out of 500, that's not bad at all. By the way, it only goes up to 150, yet we got 152. Extra sick. So stage 2 of 3, visit Pleasant Park and Dusty Divot in the single match. I think we're gonna go ahead and do that. So here's Pleasant Park. Alright, so we did Pleasant Park, and then I respawned at Dusty Divot, just how I wanted it. And we're here. I hope. Yep, there we go. Nice. So we got those challenges completed. I honestly just need one more opponent to get from above, and then... Should be smooth sailing. So hopefully that was from above. Maybe, yes it was, but I still am not there. Here's my one from above. There we go. Hopefully. Waiting on it. There we go. Okay, so we have done the deal damage from above two points. And that was probably the quickest elimination I've ever had in my life with the rifle. <laughs> It's gonna be tough to land right next to opponents. Oh, like this guy? This is perfect. No way, I'm gonna get an elimination with the pickaxe? No way. I'm gonna follow him. So he got 80 already? 
just with that. I have to eliminate him, come on. I have to. Wow, that was embarrassing for that guy. I did not realize how easy it would be for me. But hey, I'm gonna take it, I'm not complaining. I'm taking that. So you got John Wick on a balloon. Well, well we had John Wick on a balloon. Let's see if I can get this. Come on! Yes, I got it, now. Oh, I hit him with the headshot, but he was sprayed. It's okay, guys. We got the pickaxe challenge done. Okay, so here we are at Loot Lake. We need to find some chests. And... I'm not 100% sure how many they have. Oh, I think I see three in the middle. Please get them all. Land a little short. That's one. That's two. I'm not even going to pick up anything. Oh, that guy beat me to it. That sucks. Okay. There has, yeah, there's so many more. There's a lot of chests at Loot Lake now, believe it or not. And I guess opponents, too. Oh, gosh. I'm going to search it anyway. Shotgun can only do so much, man. <laughs> I'm hitting him for eight. And I'm a one shot. Oh, nice. They finished them off for me. So in this case, Snobby Shores might be my best bet. Just because Snobby Shores is on the enemy side. But they still have a better chance at it than I do. So we're just going to go Snobby Shores. And if I can't get the chest there, we will go for... Happy Hamlet to get the Snobby Shores and Happy Hamlet challenge done. Okay, so there's a person in here. And yeah, I'm done for. Okay, that sucks. I couldn't get a chest, but I am going to visit the Snobby Shores and then Happy Hamlet and get that challenge out of the way. And we got that challenge completed. So you're somebody. So that's uh, eliminating opponents to lo name location. The hot drop is gonna be Snobby Shores right now, just because it's literally right here. And I need four chests. So the likelihood of that happening with everybody coming here is not very good. But I'm coming here anyway. Why not? I have at least one chest that I hear. Okay, so we got two more to go. There we go. Another elimination. There's two for the heck of it. Okay, we're gonna visit the pirate camps all in one match. And it's three of them, remember guys? So I'm not gonna actually land at them because I don't think you have to land, you just have to visit them. So we're gonna go first to the desert. We'll check out the mountain area over here. I have this all planned out, so hopefully this works. See, I'm not even going to land. Let's see if I get credit. Oh, I didn't even get credit. What the heck? Okay, now I got credit. So here we go, that's our second one. So currently I am approaching the third pirate camp that I need to visit in a single match. And we are and we have just gotten credit for it. Perfect. Alright guys, we are going straight to Loot Lake. I only need two more chests. Oh, so I had a bad landing, but we are here. It's chest number one. Ch 
chest number two, and actually nobody is even bothering to come over here. See, we got chest number three over here. How many do I need? Seven? I might even be able to knock them all. Here's number four. It's kind of insane. Take that. Oh, we have an opponent here. That's cool. I'm just gonna get these chests just so he doesn't. So I lost count, was that five I believe? So literally open five chests by myself. And then here's six. Okay. And then, wow, that is something else. Oh, there's seven. So literally, I got this whole challenge done right now. Seven chests at Loot Lake or Snobby Shores, and I opened them all up here. There we go, I got the elimination right there. Okay, so what I'm gonna try to do is maybe a zip line elimination, or it doesn't even have to be elimination, it just has to be damage, and I think I see somebody. Yes, we got it! Deal damage to opposing players on a zip line, we got it. You just literally have to deal one damage and you're good. Thank God we don't have to eliminate anybody, because that would have been horrible. Okay, so after you deal damage to an opposing player's riding a zipline, you have to deal damage to opposing players who are riding a zipline, and that... I don't even know what to say to that. <laughs> oh my gosh, why? Why? <laughs> Honestly, screw the zipline. This challenge sucks. Oh my gosh. And then I do need one more opponent elimination and name location so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I guess we're gonna try to do this I mean what else can we do and there he is oh finally we got the different name locations and now we just need to do we need to deal damage to opposing players riding a zipline maybe gets on a zipline well, that guy's on a zipline, but that's my teammate. Oh, there we go. I eliminated somebody on a zipline. If I don't get credit for that, I'm going to be really mad. Yes, I did. I did get credit, guys. You guys can see that on the left side of the screen. It just didn't pop out, but I did get credit for it. Finally, that actually wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. All right, so we have completed all of week seven. So now what are we going to do? We got to do... Secret banner. And it looks like one of my subscribers has joined. So shout out to XTTV Racer Aim8. Shout out to you, man, if you're watching this. That's awesome. Right now, we're going to go to the secret battle star location. And this is the loading screen for this week. So the location is actually going to be in a very familiar place, a place that we've already gone to earlier in the season, just last week actually. We're going to be going right over here to the rabbit. Remember the wooden rabbit from last week? So that is A4, wooden rabbit. And that is where the secret battle star will be this week. So I know, you know, XTTV Racer, he he joined my party, um, so he's not aware of what I'm doing, unfortunately, but he will when he sees this video, so shout out to you, man, again, awesome to join. 
unfortunately you're not going to be able to see the battle star if you haven't completed all of the challenges already but this is the secret battle star location now i'll show you guys here in a sec so when you land make sure you land on this side of the rabbit and at this point right here should pop up no oh right here actually okay so i thought it was at a point but here it is shout out to this guy um, like I said, a subscriber, so you see, I do play with my subscribers, as you guys saw last week and this week. So here we go, get that, and we are done. We have found the secret battle star for loading screen number 7. So make sure you guys drop a like on this video if you did enjoy. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that bell button so you don't miss out on any future posts like this one. We are on the road to 2,000 subscribers, I'm very excited. And then also remember, if you guys want a shout out in my next video, remember the three things that I told you guys that you can do to get a shout out. So number one, just subscribe and hit that bell button and then comment when you guys finished doing that and I will shout you guys out for the next video. And then number two, follow me on Instagram or Twitter at eatpacmans, you guys already know. And then DM me when you have done so and I will give you guys a shout out there. And then number three, I have a support, a creator code now. It is epacmans all capitalized make sure you put that in the item shop and screenshot you know send me a message that you've done so whatever the case is may let me know and i will give you guys a shout out and other than that that's week seven for you guys so i hope you guys did enjoy and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out